Hello, it's Shanet J Beauty and I'm starting this video in the shower because I just shampooed and conditioned my hair with the Mayal Organics Pomegranate and Honey Moisturizing and Detangling Shampoo and Conditioner. So if you'd like to see my review, then just check the iCard above and I'll also link the video in the description box below. And as always, I'm sectioning my hair into quadrants. This just helps me to manage my hair a lot better, whether I'm washing my hair or I'm preparing my hair for a style. I just have a better control over my hair when I separate it into sections. As you already know from reading the title of this video, I will be using the Camille Rose Nengai and Sabaski Strength Restore Protein Treatment. And my hair does love protein, so I figured this would be a great treatment to use, especially since I just used the Mayel Organics Pomegranate and Honey Moisturizing and Detangling Shampoo and Conditioner. And this is just a follow-up, a good treatment to use afterwards. The smell of this protein treatment was very different from the other Camille Rose products that I have used in the past that smell like cake batter. This protein treatment on the other hand, it had a slight chemical smell, but I know that Camille Rose does take a more natural approach to the ingredients that they do use in their products, so I did feel comfortable using this treatment in my hair. And it was also creamy and dense, so I knew that it did have a good chance of working well in my hair. And before applying the treatment in my hair, I made sure that my hair was soaking wet. I I have found that doing this it really allows the products to work a lot better in my hair whether it's a shampoo a conditioner a deep conditioner or even if I'm using other products to style my hair if my hair is nice and damp and wet the products are able to soak in my hair follicles a lot better As I'm raking this treatment in my hair, I notice that my hair is taking it very well. I'm making sure to work the treatment on the roots of my hair, also the ends of my hair. And I did feel like I needed to apply just a little bit more water to give me that slip. And that's okay. If you do need to apply more water to your hair, whether you're applying a conditioner, a deep conditioner, or even a cream to your hair, then do it. It's better if you have a nice smooth result than your hair strands just not really take to the products. For me, a lot of moisture does allow the products to work better in my hair and my hair to have a better result and I could see that my curls were clumping and I was very happy with this treatment. I was able to run my fingers through my hair without any problem and I noticed that my curls they just look so good and hydrated. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side of my hair. I'm just making sure that my hair is soaking wet. As I've already mentioned, when I do this process, my hair just absorbs the products a lot better than I am putting into my hair. I am using a generous amount just because I wanna make sure that all of my hair gets the TLC that it needs. Again, this treatment is gonna help to restore your hair. So whether your hair is breaking, damaged, or splitting, this is really good. And my hair, other than the fact that I am experiencing postpartum hair loss, it is very healthy. As you can see, my curls are clumping together very nicely and they look very hydrated, which is a sign of healthy hair. Now, I know that my hair does love protein, so I tend to choose products that have protein in them. But of course, I'm not going to overload on the protein because it could have an adverse effect on my hair. I do balance the ingredients in my hair, but I do know that my hair loves protein. But I want to make sure that my hair does stay nice and moisturized because I don't want my hair to get brittle and start breaking off. Another indication that a product is working well in your hair is that you're able to run your fingers through it very smoothly with ease. I was very happy with the application process and I could see that my hair was taking very well to this protein treatment. 
As instructed, for extra conditioning, I am going to apply a conditioning cap on my hair, and this is by Evolve. I really like this brand because, as many of you know, I do use the bonnet, which is by them, also the rat tail comb, which is by them, so their products do work very well in my hair. The highlights of this cap are that it has a self-warming technology that uses your body heat to help heat any hair treatments in your hair that will allow it to penetrate in the hair cuticle a lot better. Also it helps to prevent hair breakage and it has a secure band around the cap which allows for a secure hair deep conditioning treatment. In this case I am using a protein treatment and Camille Rose did advise if you wanted a deeper conditioning treatment then you can use a heating cap like this and that's what I I decided to do. Taking the cap off, my hair felt very smooth and it felt really good. My hair is still clumped together and it has a definition that I really love. Now it's time to rinse it out and I'm using cool water to rinse and I'm also detangling my hair with a wide tooth comb as instructed. And after I squeezed the excess water out of my hair, here's how it looks and my hair felt very soft nonetheless. Also I did note that my hair was a little bit more porous than usual. And to dry my hair, I will be using a cotton t-shirt and then I decided to style my hair into braids. I hope that you enjoyed my review on the Camille Rose Nengai and Sebasti Strength Restore Protein Treatment. And let me know if you've used this treatment before and also what would you like to see me review in the future. And if you liked my review, please give me a like, comment, subscribe if you're not, and share. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!